long distance surgery and long distance monitoring is doable, right? Because there have been a lot of case studies talking about it. It is doable, but it is irrelevant. You wouldn't get into a plane that was automatically piloted. You wouldn't get into any sort of vehicle that was automatically piloted. If someone calls you as a telemarketer and you find out it's not a person, you put the phone down. There are human mediated things that are just as people we value much more than a fully. So, robot assistance, yes. A lot of the modern uh, systems on the intuitive uh, robot, if your hand makes a sudden jerk, it will compensate against that. It knows that this is an action you did not mean to do. And so it will stop that. But it won't do the operation for you. For two important reasons why it would never do that. One, the ethics of such a thing would never be allowed because then it becomes a question of who you assign the liability of that procedure going wrong, which uh, equipment company will never take that responsibility. Two, no patient would ever trust a fully robot-driven procedure. So in terms of a person sitting somewhere and getting operated somewhere else, the liability issues will never be solved. Technology problems sometimes are the easiest problems to fix, but the emotional problems, the legal liability problems, the problems of logistics even. See, you, to create the setup that allows robot surgery in a remote village in India will cost as much as it's cheaper to fly the patient to a major center. But to create a robot assistant in a village means you need 24 hour power backup. You need someone to repair the robot when it's not working. That infrastructure is not available. So just Having the doctor be able to dial in means nothing.